Hi everyone, welcome to my 36 week update. Hope you guys don't mind, my parrot Moya is joining us for this video. If he stays good throughout it. Um, he kind of likes to talk when I am talking, clearly. So we'll see how he does. Um, haven't had a whole lot going on this past week. What are you doing so good? You being a silly head? Yeah? Yeah? It's also getting kind of late for him, so he tends to get kind of cranky this late at night. But here, we can have a cracker. So you can make a mess on one. Yes. So, um, as far as this week goes for baby development, we're still in the same size range at like 17.2 to 18.7 inches and around 4.5 to 5.5 pounds-ish. Um, but he's continuing to kind of add more bulk and weight. He's um, getting closer to be able to breathe on his own and his skin's getting nice and smooth and soft and rigid. So liver and kidneys are all in working order. Basically, if he was born at this time, most of his major organ systems would all be functioning. So um, he'd actually be in really good shape. We're, we're one week away from 37 weeks, which is full term. So, or considered full term. So 40 weeks is ideal, but 37 weeks is considered full term. So we're getting pretty close. Um, it also means that we're getting pretty close to when he could come anytime now. So I've started actually working this week on putting together my hospital bag. I've already got his bag all packed and ready to go. Um, so I just need to work on getting my bag together of things that me and my husband might need or want while we're at the hospital. So I started putting together some stuff, but I haven't finished it. And with my goal last, my last weekend, which my weekend is Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, but I will continue working on it throughout the week and hopefully have it ready to go by the time we hit 37 weeks. Yeah. So that way everything's in one spot. We can just grab it and go when we need to. Instead of worrying about trying to find stuff all over the place. So that's kind of exciting. Um, for me, it's haven't really had a lot. Again, it's not really new symptoms. I'm having a rough time sleeping sometimes. Last night I got woken up by something going on outside at 3.30 in the morning. And it took me over an hour to actually fall back asleep. No particular reason. I just could not sleep. And I had to get up early for work this morning. So I was pretty exhausted today. Um, boy, is making. Ooh, that's me being exhausted. <laughs> making a nice mess everywhere. Um, so, yeah, it's not a whole lot of new stuff this week. We did attend our last baby class. Um, so that was good. It was called Baby Basics. And uh, we learned a little bit of different stuff about just taking care of a newborn. Um, the best part of it was at the very end we had all of the dads try on the Empathy Belly Vest. Um, so they got this big old vest and a little, it, it, they put something around their chest to restrict their breathing. They put the big vest on with the big belly. Um, it adds about 25 pounds. I've actually gained more than 25 pounds myself, so um, they got to wear that. There's also a little pad that goes in there that kind of squishes their bladder to make them feel like they have to go to the bathroom all the time. So, oh, excuse me, to try to simulate as best they can what it's like to be pregnant. And then we got to ask them to do different various activities. So I had Josh lay down. Turn from side to side just like we do when I do when I'm trying to sleep. Sit down and tie his shoe because that is very difficult. What are you doing? Um, and then basically just do a lap around the room trying to speed walk. So um, that was kind of fun to be able to watch them all do that. I think he is going to be a little loud now, 
So we're going to take a moment and go put him away. Because clearly, he wants to talk while I am talking. Hi, Moya. Are you a big silly bird? Yeah? You're not going to do anything good. You're just going to be loud, huh? Yeah. So, I think I'm going to go put him back. And it's getting past his bedtime anyways. And he gets a little cranky this late. So, we'll go put him away and I'll be right back. Okay, so, sorry for the loud screeching. Um, thought it would be nice for him to hang out with us for a bit. But he clearly just doesn't want to let me talk. So, and as I said, he tends to get a little crankier late at night. Um, so, it's getting kind of late for him anyways. But, as I was saying... The empathy belly thing was pretty darn fun to watch all the guys go through. Uh, gives them a little bit of a taste of what it's like. Clearly it can't simulate it perfectly, but at least it gives them an idea. Poor Josh actually pulled a shoulder muscle wearing it though because it was so tight across his shoulders. So he's still recovering from that. But at the class, you know, we learned different basic things about newborn care. Um, went over some, you know, stuff about different places we can contact for resources after the baby's born if we need it. Um, it was just an all-around good general class. There wasn't anything mind-boggling or shattering, but it was still good to, to go to and, um, a nice learning experience for both of us, so. I found that to be good, and that was our last class, so we had three classes total, they were all with the same instructor, um, and she's actually a nurse at the hospital I'm giving birth at, she's a lactation consultant as well, so I could end up seeing her while I'm there, which might be kind of nice. Um, for other symptoms, it's just kind of the same old thing, I get, you know, still out of breath, I had to give a chat at my job today. Um, for an event we had going on, um, so I gave a chat on the keepers, or, sorry, I gave a keeper chat on the cheetahs at my job, and felt kind of bad because the, by the end of it, I was pretty out of breath, and I was hoping people could understand why, but I had a hard time maintaining, uh, long period of talk while trying to project to a large crowd of people um, for an extended period of time but it was still nice and it went well um, so yeah and after reflux is still there doesn't seem to be quite as bad as it was for a little while I don't know if that's the Zantac helping but I don't always remember to take it every day even though I try to um, Stretch marks have gotten worse. <laughs> they are now from here down all across here. I've always been really itchy too. But I did switch to trying um, coconut oil as a moisturizer. And I really like the way it feels right now. So I'm just going to kind of keep using that and see how it goes. Um, I have heard good things about using coconut oil as a moisturizer for your skin as well as a nipple cream. Um, for when I start breastfeeding, and I, you can also use it to make your own uh, wipe solution. Since we are cloth diapering, I'm going to try cloth wipes, and I don't know that I'll do it full time, but you can make your own wipe solution with coconut oil. So, I did finally pick some up, and we're going to try that out and see how that goes. So, that should be pretty good. Um, like I said, I like the feel of it so far, but I've only been using it for a few days. So I can't say how awesome it really is. But as I said, for this next week, we're just going to kind of be working on getting our hospital bag together. I've got to finish washing the baby's clothes and getting them put away, as well as um, getting the diapers all set up because you do have to do some work to get your cloth diapers ready ahead of time so that they are absorbent when the baby comes. So I still have to do that, um, probably some of that stuff I will be working on, um, on my next days off from work. So, kind of where we're at. Our fruit this week is a honeydew melon. I actually used a honeydew before when we were trying to find a replacement of fruit. Um, 
but the one I used was fairly small. This one wasn't as big of a one as I was hoping to find. Um, but it's still like, like I said, these aren't exact and it gives an idea. Um, we are running out of fruit that we can use though. So I, as I said before, I'm not sure how long our fruit comparisons can continue. Um, because we just don't have that many more big fruits out there. So, but yeah, this week's the honeydew kind of gives an idea and we're, yeah, we're definitely getting, getting up there for our fruit. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my belly. Still getting bigger, but I don't think we are definitely not growing at as fast as a rate as we were, but getting pretty big. It's a little embarrassing when I have people ask me if I'm about to pop and I'm like, no, I still have several weeks left. I had someone ask me when I had seven weeks to go if I was going to have my baby any day. So I really just think most people don't understand how big someone's belly gets when they are nine months pregnant. Um, but uh, that's, that's kind of it I have for this week. Just, it's been, it's been a little tiring. So we're just getting closer and closer and it's just going to be more tiring as we get to go on. But that's okay. It is all worth it. And as tired as I am, I want him to stay in there for a couple more weeks. So, um, hopefully he doesn't come too soon. So that's kind of all I have for this week. Stay tuned, um, for my next video. We're going to go over uh, things I wish I knew about being pregnant. And um, we'll have that early next week. And then followed by my 37 week full term um, update. So thanks for coming out and watching this round. Um, and we'll see you next time. Feel free to like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And feel free to post a comment below. So thanks everybody.